Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's feature release webinar, Tracking and Recovering Missing Devices. We're very excited to spend the next four or five minutes with you and really appreciate you taking time out of your day to be here today. My name is Barka Ramno, and I'm a Customer Success Manager here at Absolute. With three years of supporting Absolute's education customers, my focus is on enabling users with best practices around asset management, device tracking, and theft prevention. And with that, I'll also like to introduce my co-presenter today, Jeff Gambrow. Hello to all of our awesome Absolute customers who've joined us today for this webinar. Mark and I are coming to you today live from beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, where Absolute's global headquarters are located. I've been fortunate to personally meet, speak to, or email with many of you in my six plus years here at Absolute. But for those of you that I haven't had the pleasure of meeting yet, I lead the Absolute team that's responsible for conducting your stolen device investigations and which works hard every day to help you maintain the security of your device inventory. I'd like to start by explaining our objectives for this presentation. First, we wanna help you understand that all unaccounted for devices are not the same. Instead, they broadly fall into two categories, those that are missing and those that have been stolen. And Mark and I will talk with you today about the differences between the two. Second, with the new console features we're releasing soon, all unaccounted for devices needn't be treated the same way anymore. In the near future, you'll be able to follow one workflow that's optimized to help you locate and reclaim your missing devices and another workflow that's designed to recover your stolen devices. And finally, for those of you who've purchased resilience for education licenses, we're going to discuss some improvements to the service guarantee program. So we'd like to get started by asking you to take a quick poll. We'll discuss the results of this poll in a minute. And while you're providing your answers, I'll tell you about one relevant incident that is stuck in my mind. A few years ago, one of our education customers had a student who reported leaving her issued device at a local place of worship. When the student went back later to retrieve the laptop, guess what? It was gone. Following our current stolen device workflow, the student had to report the loss to the police, the customer had to obtain the police incident number from the student, and then the customer had to submit a theft report to us via the Absolute Console. Six months passed until one day the customer advised that the missing device had been located. It had been found on top of the refrigerator in the student's house. We never quite learned how the missing device mysteriously got from the place of worship to the top of the student's refrigerator, but I suspect it was actually on top of the fridge the entire time. Regardless, the customer had to go through the usual steps to submit a theft report when the device was apparently never stolen in the first place. I'm sure this same thing has happened to most of you especially if your students are allowed to take their devices off campus. This example highlights the reality with which most of you are all too familiar. That is, students are generally just less responsible than adults, especially when it comes to maintaining possession of things of value or importance, like a laptop. So while your devices may occasionally be stolen from the vehicles of your students' parents, from break-ins to schools, and by opportunistic thieves when devices are left unattended in public places, our experience in working with education customers across the country has been that most devices don't disappear due to criminal activity. Instead, most errant devices are either lost or misplaced by students or are not returned to the school when they're due. Let's take a look at the results of our poll now. So it looks like almost all of you, 80%, have had devices be misplaced on school campus and, and not, I really wasn't, wasn't surprised that few of you would have devices misplaced or lost on airports or airplanes. Um, so these numbers track pretty well with, with what we expected and what we've seen in, in our years here in handling stolen devices and, and missing devices from customers like yourself. Mark, anything to add to that? No, that's, that aligns up with basically what I've seen as well when I've worked with uh, education customers. It's usually the device comes back online and it's connecting from the school's IP address and everything else in terms of the data points that looks the same. So yeah, no, that aligns up. Hey, let's now talk about how we can help you locate these missing devices. Here at Absolute, we offer a unique and original feature in criminal theft reporting and device recovery by employing an in-house team that is highly skilled at investigating device theft. 
The investigations team is comprised of former law enforcement detectives who have not only received expert training, but also have over 110 years of combined experience in recovering stolen devices at Absolute. However, we also recognize your need to track devices that are unaccounted for, but may not have actually been stolen. So we're addressing that need with this new missing device feature and workflow. Before Barco walks you through the new functionality that'll soon be available to you in the console, I'd like to take a minute to briefly explain how you can tell if a device is missing or if it's been stolen. So put your detective hats on. Here are our two general circumstances for why devices are unaccounted for. The left side of the screen represents your devices that are simply missing, which may be a frequent occurrence in your environment. Some common scenarios we've seen for why devices go missing is they've been misplaced, left behind, accidentally picked up by a different person, inadvertently issued to the wrong user, or not returned by the person to whom they were assigned. Devices can also go missing under other scenarios. However, the common denominators for all missing devices are that you don't know the device's whereabouts and there's no known criminal intent that caused the device's disappearance. We'll talk about how to identify criminal intent next, but before we leave, let's recap what we've learned so far. If there's no evidence that an actual crime has been committed, then the device is considered missing. The right side of the screen represents your devices that have been stolen in a crime, like a break into a car, a school, or a residence. Stolen device scenarios usually result in evidence that someone intended to break the law, such as broken window glass, a busted door lock, or a witness who saw someone intentionally take a device that didn't belong to them. Evidence of a crime satisfies the first criteria for a stolen device. The second criteria of a stolen device is your willingness to prosecute the person responsible, if called to do so by law enforcement. Your answers to these two important questions will assist you in determining which workflow you'll use to recover your device. If there is either no evidence of a crime or there is evidence but you're not willing to prosecute the perpetrator, then you should use the new missing device workflow to self-recover your device without the involvement of law enforcement. On the other hand, if there is evidence of a crime and you're willing to prosecute, then you should, you should use the stolen device workflow so Absolute can work with the police on your behalf to recover your device. Now that I've explained the differences between missing devices and stolen devices, let's examine and compare the features of each distinct workflow. Let's start out by talking about your missing devices again. When you flag a device in the console as missing, the persistence of the Absolute agent allows you to retain full visibility and control over that device, even though it's out of your physical possession. Absolute will monitor a device that you flag as missing for signs of activity and will alert you by email the next time the device connects to the internet. The email alert will identify the device in question and will include a link to the device record in the Absolute console. Clicking on that link in the email alert will allow you to see the most recent device information such as the IP address and username that may help you self-recover the device. You can also view a report that lists all of the devices you've currently got flagged as missing. For missing devices that are eventually located, you can mark the device as found and it will no longer be considered missing. Alternatively, the latest information from the device may allow you to conclusively determine that it's been stolen as a result of criminal activity and that you need law enforcement and the Absolute Investigations team to help you get it back. When this happens, you can easily escalate the device status from missing to stolen by submitting a theft report in the console, which will allow you to leverage our investigations team. Now let's take a deeper dive into stolen devices. 